Hello, I'm Dr. Katherine Dallow. You may be wondering what you can do to help slow the spread of the coronavirus. The answer is simple. Keep your distance. The virus has the potential to spread quickly, to sicken tens of thousands, threaten the lives of thousands, and overwhelm our healthcare system. By practicing what we call social distancing or physical distancing, we can significantly slow the rate of infection. That's why communities across the country and the world are taking unprecedented steps. Schools are closed, concerts and sporting events are canceled, restaurants are being asked to serve takeout only, and many of us are telecommuting to work. Keeping our social distance at least six feet from another person means those who have the infection can't pass it on, and those who don't have it can't catch it. This is really important since the virus can be spread by people who are asymptomatic. They show no signs of being sick, and so they, and we, don't know they're infected. While all this may seem frightening, it is necessary. Social distancing is the very best way each of us can help slow the spread of the virus. We know this is a big lifestyle change. It may lead to some of us feeling isolated, depressed, and even more anxious about this outbreak. Don't let that happen. Go outside for a walk or a run or exercise indoors. Meditation may be helpful. Of course, you should stay in touch with neighbors, families, and friends. Send them a text or give them a call. You can even chat online. It's important to stay active, engaged, and connected. Staying away from other people may be a sacrifice and it may be hard, but it's the kindest thing you can do right now. It's literally a life-saving step, particularly for those who are most vulnerable to this virus, like our seniors, those with chronic health conditions, and our healthcare workers. So please, keep your distance, at least for a little while.